wanted to ask you about, which is the recent news that the Marlins hired the first female GM. I know her. You know her. So we, we wrote a Psychology Today piece that talked a little bit about conformity and some other psychology principles and how it's so important that one team basically had to do this, right? To break the conformity of all the other players. So do you think that, do you think that glass ceiling has been broken? And I mean, what yes. can you say about her? Yeah, no, absolutely. 100% broken. If you ask me if the Marlins intentions were pure for that, do I believe that? No. I think in a, in a case like this, the ends just like, who's it hurting? The ends justify the means, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've heard the same pieces that she's overqualified. You know, yeah, no shit. Like, she totally is. But whatever. I I don't know why. I mean, you got to understand something. For a woman to go into an executive position in baseball from the beginning, like start from nothing to crawl your way up to GM, for a woman specifically in this environment, I mean, you got to have a crazy kind of resolve to go do that because it's hell. I, I'm there. I, I work, my, my vice president, again, is a woman. Hmm. She's one of like four women certified agents in all baseball. I see what my vice president goes through when she handles stuff professionally. With the glass ceiling with Kim, I mean, she's been a candidate for 15 years. And I've heard terrible stories that the reason that she got pushed right now to be the GM, this will be breaking news for you guys because I know shit, is that the commissioner's office didn't know what to do with her anymore. And you couldn't fire Kim Ng. So what do you do? I believe that story personally because I know Kim's hmm. off. Again, no pure intentions. Here's baseball. The ends justify the means. Kim's going to be a damn star. And then now people won't be that worried about hiring women. There'll yeah. be no public fear, or backlash. Other owners won't make fun of other owners. And it's, it's always going to be harder because baseball is the, the good old boy network. And it's real Southern. Like I was getting at before with my views. Yeah. Oh, boy, was that not welcome for baseball.